Good afternoon. This is a Montgomery County Commission meeting for Tuesday, April 7th at 1.30. Pursuant to Ohio law and the Ohio Department of Health regulations, we are live streaming this and also we're on Facebook page. So, um, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Lieberman. Here. Commissioner Rice. Here. Commissioner Dodge. Here. Okay, first up, County Engineer, Paul Gruner. Okay, good afternoon, commissioners and those watching on the streaming and County Administrator. Uh, we just have two resolutions today. Uh, the first is resolution 2417 to advertise for the Diamond Mill Bridge Reconstruction Project in the city of Germantown at an estimated cost of $900,000. And 418 is to amend the agreement with E.L. Robinson Engineering of Ohio for professional engineering services for the Lamb Road Improvement Project by adding $201,620 to the original amount for a revised total of $465,258 and to extend the term through June 30th of 2024. This is authorizing them for the final uh, stage of engineering. I move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. County Sheriff. Thank you, commissioners. Under the County Sheriff, we have resolution 419, authorizing a pay by warrant to mail lander. Uh, this is for $1,600 commissioners for uh, the inmate uh, property room bags. We also have resolution 420, except in and Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant from the Ohio Department of Public Safety Office of Criminal Justice Services for the Regional Agencies Narcotic and Gun Enforcement Range Task Force in an amount of $62,063.57. <clears throat> I move for approval. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Juvenile Court. Under Juvenile Court, we have Resolution 421, authorizing a payment by warrant to Loyola University, Chicago. This is for $5,745 for registration fees. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 County Administrator. I have Monday, Commissioners. Okay, all right, let's start then, I'm sorry, with Monday Correctional Community Institution. Okay, thank you, commissioners. Under Monday Community Correctional Institution, we have resolution 422, accept a grant from Wright State University for funds made available under the offender reentry program in the amount of 81,000 per year for a total of 405,000 through January 14, 2025. I move for approval. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 County Administrator. Under the County Administrator, we have under the Clerk's Office approval of the minutes of the meetings on March 31st, 2020. Resolution 423, approval of bills, and that list is available in the Clerk's Office. Mid to approve? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Administrative services. Under administrative services, we have resolution 424, approval of personnel actions. That list is available in the clerk's office. We have resolution 425, select the bid and extend the date to award to June 1st, 2020, the Security 101 Ohio LLC security contractor for the court security improvements project at their lowest and best bid of $826,015.94. We have resolution 426, Dale Financial Services for computer hardware and software for the clerk of courts in the amount not to exceed $81,644.22 through December 31st, 2021. We have resolution 427, Mythics Inc. for annual Oracle software maintenance services for the auditor's office in an amount not to exceed $71,680.11 through February 28, 2021. We have resolution 428, 
Mythix Inc. for Oracle Salt for annual Oracle software maintenance for Justice Web in an amount not to exceed $62,889.21 through December 31st, 2020. We have resolution 429, Jack Donny Companies Inc. for a Vactor HXX hydro excavation machine with positive displacement vacuum systems for environmental services in an amount not to exceed $453,545.18. Commissioners, this vector is a machine that essentially sucks all of the gravel from the ground pipes. We also have resolution 430, APG office furnishings for furnishings for the Rybold building fifth floor in an amount not to exceed $186,000. $1,000.46.43. And we have resolution 431, Soundcom Systems for audio visual equipment for the Rybol Building, fifth floor conference rooms, in an amount not to exceed $139,323.46. I move for approval. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Environmental Services. Under environmental services, we have resolution 432, amend the agreement with Rumpke of Ohio, Inc. for solid, solid waste transportation and disposal services to provide emergency staffing services in the event of a COVID-19 occurrence at the transfer and recycling facility. This is our backup commissioners in the event that some of our haulers or drivers were to fall ill. Rumpke gives us a backup contract that allows us to continue to move tonnage out of the transfer station and into the landfill. We also have two uh, authorization agreements, resolution 433, CG Construction and Utilities Inc. for construction of the Crown and Victory Water Main Replacement Project at their lowest and best bid of 543,575 through December 30th, 2020. Uh, this is located in Trotwood and 434 Racer Properties LLC for the operation and maintenance of the Dryden Northwell number 13 and obligations related to utility projects. Uh, we have to clear the Racer Trust before we do any work uh, near the plume in West Carrollton. I move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 OMB. Under OMB commissioners, we have resolution 435, authorize appropriation amendments. Resolution 436, authorize additional appropriations. Resolution 437, authorize cash transfers. Resolution 438, authorize appropriation decreases. Resolution 439, declare a fiscal emergency in response to the COVID-19 pandemic resulting in 20 million of lost general fund revenue and require immediate budget reductions of 17.9 million. Uh, commissioners, this is in response to the loss of sales, real estate fees and casino and other revenues uh, due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Additionally, commissioner, we established co uh, capital projects funds, resolutions 440, Philadelphia Drive and Markey Road Culvert Rehabilitation Roadway Project Issue 2 Fund, Fund 412 and Subfund 344. Resolution 441, Alex Bell Bridge Issue 2, Fund 412, Subfund 345. I move for approval. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Human Services. Under human services, we have resolution under human services planning and development. We have resolution 442, accept a grant from the Coalition of Housing and Homelessness in Ohio Pandemic Emergency Fund for the OH505 Dayton Kettering Montgomery County Continuum of Care in an amount of $10,000. This is for our uh, continuum response for supplies and equipment for our frontline workers as it relates to uh, our homeless solutions and our homeless shelters throughout the county. Resolution 443, authorizing an agreement with Homeful for targeted rehousing services in an amount not to exceed $91,050 through December 31st, 2020. Uh, this is a grant through the Ohio Development Services Agency. 
Under Stillwater, we have resolution 0444 authorizing a payment by warrant to Corral and Associates LLC. This is for $1,200 commissioners, and this is to uh, resupply our medical gas system there at Stillwater. And we have one late item, resolution 446, uh, amend the prevention, retention, and contingency biennial renewal plan. This is the PRC plan. Appendix one, list of services and benefits. This is going to allow us commissioners to uh, actually expedite additional $400 payments for rent, for housing, for mortgage, and for utilities uh, to about 3,000 families across Montgomery County due to the pandemic. Uh, and they are all, these families will be all talent TANF eligible, temporary aid for needy families. It will also allow us to do a summer youth program. Okay. And it's approved. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Under, under County Commissioners 20 445, reappoint Helen Jones Kelly to serve on the Sinclair Community College Board for a five year term ending July 1st, 2025. I move for approval. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That includes, concludes our meeting. Uh, any comments by the county administrator? Thank you, Commissioner. The only thing I would like to say is, uh, I, again, I would like to thank our team, our staff, uh, all of the county employees uh, that are across this great county. Uh, I continue to say that uh, services are continuing to be provided to the public. I thank the elected officials uh, for supporting the administration. And I thank you, county commissioners, for uh, supporting us in all the services that we have had to provide uh, through this tough time. Uh, I can't say a much uh, of our employees as I go through the county and, and I make sure every week I tour all of our operations in the county and uh, morale is high. People want to work and they want to serve the public. And we have a lot of essential employees that have come back in to help in other areas that are not their areas. So uh, thank you for your leadership, commissioners and, and Paul. Our elected officials have been phenomenal and uh, we are blessed to have you. And thank you again. Comments by county commissioners? Sure, I'll just say okay, thank then. you, Michael, and thank you to all of our employees. But I also wanna say thank you to the citizens of Montgomery County. You know, we're doing what we've been asked to do by the governor, by the federal government, and it's, it's showing. So please, please stay home and be safe. And again, Michael, thank you um, and the team, the IT team for putting this together so that we're able to do this and, and be safe. Thanks. And I would just echo those same comments. I, you know, um, my, my, I am so incredibly proud of our whole county team, every office, every elected office, um, all many thousand of them for the part they're playing and uh, continuing to do vital services. I'm incredibly proud of uh, all the essential workers across the county, not just the county employees. I know that everyone's stepping up in these very difficult times. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, our hearts go out to any of our citizens who are suffering from this virus, uh, especially um, anyone who's lost a family member or someone they know, uh, I know how incredibly difficult this is. And uh, just know that we're all here. We are truly in this together. I think the governor has provided uh, his team. They, they have just shown us the way of uh, how we all, when we pull together, uh, I really have enjoyed some of those inspirational uh, videos that he's shared, you know, to kind of counterbalance uh, a lot of the negative and fearful things that we kind of get inundated with every day. But um, I am uh, just in awe of all the healthcare workers, every person from janitor to leadership of all that they're coming through. I, I just cannot say enough uh, about everyone. And of course, Michael, thank you for keeping everything um, steady and, and running. Um, I only wish I could do more and be more places and uh, obviously we're not gonna be able to hug people, but virtual hugs to each and every citizen and every 
essential worker across. Um, these are the times when we really understand how much people uh, in the end really matter. And this is a wonderful community and we are going to get through this and we will be better and stronger afterwards. Okay. Well, I have to echo what everyone else has said so far. Uh, and um, we're gonna get through this. You know, we've been through this before in 2007 and eight when we had our the great tsunami that hit us with the great recession and we're all struggling, but we're all, be, we're all working hard and um, we're just gonna get through this. So hang in there, everybody. Okay, there is no Montgomery County Commission meeting on Tuesday, April the 14th, nor is there one on Tuesday, April 21st. So our next Montgomery County Commission meeting is gonna be Tuesday, April 28th at 1.30. I move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.